head is a very dangerous weapon. And as a blow to defend against it, slowly. Welcome to the Inquirer 2.0. Today we look at a violent confrontation by a deadly karate expert, a nightclub bouncer, one Gary Spears, and the head of a gang who were on the rampage across Blackpool. And the head of this mob, a right lump, was knocking Dolman out left, right and centre up until the confrontation with Spears. Now, please smash the likes out, guys, and I'm going to crack straight on with this. Gary Spears is a name that reverberates around the world of karate and the doors of pubs and clubs across Liverpool and the UK. A man mounting from New Zealand with proud Maori blood running through his veins. Spears moved from New Zealand to Australia and onto Tokyo, crafting the art of karate and his specialism, Goju Kai. Terry O'Neill, a legend in martial arts circles, went out to Tokyo to interview Spears and offered him a place in Liverpool to come and share his knowledge whilst earning his living in security. Standing at over six foot and 18 stone plus, Spears has been involved in vicious street fights throughout his adult life and was renowned for the extreme violence he employed to finish fights quickly and ruthlessly. On this occasion, described in the book, In the Clearing Stands a Dorman and a Fighter, link in the description, guys, Spears and their team of Dorman find themselves in Blackpool working the door of a big venue on the front. Blackpool is a notorious seaside town in England where stags, hens, football firms and partygoers flock to, especially in the summer months, to let loose, get boozed up and usually end up kicking off. So it's an area where Dorman are going to get to see plenty of action. In fact, my good friend Mark Chester, or Jas for those who know him, he actually worked the doors in Blackpool for some quite some time with a guy called Steve Sinclair, big reputation on the doors and is well known throughout the UK, was in a programme with Danny Dyer on like the Deadless Men. Now, ironically enough, Jasp is also one of the founding members of the Stoke City Naughty 40 football firm. And at a later date, we're going to chat on the channel about his experiences in Blackpool as both a doorman and running with the Naughty 40 football firm from Stoke. But on this occasion, this didn't involve Jasp. I don't think it did anyway. <laughs> Um, but this extract from the chapter, go to Blackpool for a laugh and come home in stitches. Greeny told me about the time they were working in Blackpool. He said, you really earn your money in that town. Any football supporters who were to travel past Blackpool to go to a match would always have it on their agenda to finish the night off there or at least call into town via going home. This, along with drunken holidaymakers, party goers and the ever expected migration of the stag nights, turned the summer season there into animal farm. This one night, Gary, Greeny and some of the other lads from the club they'd been working at were having a meal at an Indian restaurant late after finishing work. A group of other doormen were in the restaurant and came over to say hello and to tip Gary Spears off about a nasty little crew on some kind of holiday. They were from north of the border with this one huge guy who was seemingly on a mission to knock a doorman out wherever he went. They seemed to be working their way right down the Blackpool front. Then, as if scripted, in walks the very same crew, very much worse for wear. All our lads sat down, quickly finished their food, waiting for them to kick off proceedings. But strangely enough, nothing happened, as they seemed to be more interested in the food and extra alcohol. But it gave Gary an opportunity to have a good look at them and the big, bald-headed thug who was leading them. The following night, we'd heard they were out again and causing their usual mayhem. We'd also heard they, or at least a big one, had been made aware that there was a big, very capable Maori doorman in a large nightclub on the front, and they were making their way to it like bounty hunters. They managed to get in unspotted, and true to form, the big one swaggers arrogantly over to where Gary was sitting, collecting people's tickets to tear in half, passing them the other half past his uh, receipt of entry. The guy shoved Gary in the shoulder and said in an aggressive, heavy accent, Oi, eh, you the man? Gary stood up and replied, No, mate. In you go. Have a good night. The slob pushed him again, but even harder and repeated. I effing said, I used the man then. And without warning or provocation, butted Gary full in the head. Gary had a head like granny, as do all Maoris. Gary wiped his forehead and calmly said in a soft voice, that wasn't a butt. Then from nothing to total eruption, gripped the twat with two hands, with lapels and saggy man tits, locked in Gary's vice-like grip. He then lifted him up and ran him right across the foyer into the wall, which was a good five or six metres away. As he hit the wall with tremendous momentum and velocity, 
Gary butted him full in the face, a millisecond after his head hit the wall, with perfect timing and maximum destruction. As the unconscious thug slowly slid down the wall, Gary continued his statement in true Crocodile Dundee style. That's a fucking butt. The other doorman rallied around, but the rest of them declined the offer, and with great effort carried the unconscious bullying shithouse out. A sad footnote to this story is, unfortunately, the prick did regain consciousness and lived. Okay, guys, so that's a little extract out of the book where Gary Spears had it with the leader of some crew. It was a right lump and had been sparking doorman out left, right and centre, uh, but saw to him in Gary Spears fashion. Now, if you want to know more about Gary Spears, I will be bringing a few more different extracts. However, Matt Legg has done an amazing video on Gary Spears and his life. Uh, Matt Legg's link in the description. Um, go over there if you haven't already and watch that because it is a fantastic little mini documentary on Gary Spears. It'll give you loads more information. All right, guys, take care.